Hey, brother, what are you up to? Taking it to the streets or screens, submitting to be more vile. These days, it's viral. Ah, trying to pick an Instagram name because you know the World Wide Web is my parish. Oh, that's easy. Bible Moth. You mean the nickname people used to call us at college because they thought we studied scripture too much? Yeah, that's right. Or sacramentarians because we like to take communion frequently. Like that's a bad thing. Those early days of the movement were great. I love seeing the folks from the Holy Club on our Facebook page and to see how far they spread the word past Oxford in England. To think. We started so many years ago, and our method of fasting and spiritual practices that gave us the name Methodists is still part of our identity. Going with Bible moths. Now for a good avatar. Hmm. Hey, brother, let's see how smart this phone is. I was plucked from the burning, and here's my burning question. Susanna, tell me about the United Methodist Church today. The United Methodist Church has nearly 7 million members in the U.S. and more than 5 million members in Africa, Asia, and Europe. Nice! Hosanna, how many United Methodist Churches are there worldwide? In 2016, there were more than 44,000 churches across the globe. Okay, let's really stump her. Rihanna, what does the cross and the flame mean on all those church signs? The flame is a reminder of Pentecost. The two tongues represent the Evangelical United Brethren Church and the Methodist Church, which formed the United Methodist Church in 1968. I've got one. Mariah, what Methodist made history in music? Charles Wesley wrote more than 6,000 hymns. Among them, Hark the Herald Angels Sing and Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Ariana, could you sing a bit of it? Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Alleluia. We need to get our saddlebags in gear. I wish we could find a Twitter handle related to our roots. Remember that movie that showed how circuit riders helped spread the church across the United States? Mariana, play Clay Ride. Here's a clip from Clay Ride. Now we have our fuss in the fifth United Methodist. Ah, yes. I like to think about how we fight, but we come together because we want the same things. How we work to end slavery and support workers. How we included women and stood for social justice and cared for creation. Responded to disasters and worked for reconciliation when we hurt people of color. We went from being a holy club in England to being a global movement. And you can see some of our social holiness on social media. And whether we carry a phone or a flood bucket or a holy Bible, we can still be the hands and feet of Christ. And be part of a network that's stronger than any any digital platform. True, brother. And we didn't even talk about all the potluck recipes we could put on Pinterest. Maybe later, Charles.